What's up? My name is John. I have a PhD in economics and I'm a programmer with about 10 years of experience. Today I'd like to compare Claude 2, the new large language model, to GPT-4. See this previous video where I compared them for the purpose of programming. Today I'd like to compare them for the purpose of academic paper summarization. So we're going to start with this paper which was published in 2020 before the GPT-4 knowledge cutoff date. But this is a closed paper, it's not an open access paper. So let's see if GPT-4 will be able to access this paper through plugins, or if it will have it within its training set, if Claude will have it within its training set, or if I will have to manually paste them in, how effective and efficient will that be? The answer is that it was not in GPT-4's training set, and I could not paste the whole paper into the request, so I had to chunk it in multiple parts. This was a timing this was a time-consuming process, and it ended up exceeding the GPT-4 context window, so that the final summary says, the given text appears to be the concluding part of the research paper, because the beginning text had fallen out of the GPT token window. This particular paper has about 11,000 tokens in size, and here we can start to see why Claude 2 is so useful in this case. Not only is Claude 2 free, where GPT-4 is not, but Claude 2 has a 100K token window. What does that mean? It can remember more, it can consume more text, and it can hold it in memory without the need for fine-tuning or hosting a trained model, a custom trained model. So I'm producing a service called Ladderly, you can check it out now, and a chatbot would be useful even for the free tier. I could provide a priming message that the end user could take over to Claude and could get answers based on my content without me needing to pay for a model. What about plugins? I tried three plugins. Scholar AI was unable to find the paper. Mixerbox Scholar found the paper, but essentially summarized the abstract. So this is not a high quality summary. The third option was that I used a PDF reader that was not academic specific, and I asked it to summarize this PDF. Mixerbox chat PDF also failed to be able to parse the open PDF form of the paper, which is available here. By the way, you can access this the working paper form of the paper before it went through peer review, but the content substantially overlaps. Now let's compare this to Claude. With Claude, I pasted the entire 11K tokens in a single request, which the website converted into this TXT file. So I did not need to chunk it manually. That was faster and it provided a much better summary, including portions of the beginning of the paper where I talk about the student debt crisis in the background at the top of the paper. It was able to summarize from top to bottom the whole paper. So as a user, specific advice for students, this is a great answer. As someone interested in the highlights of paper, is this a good answer? I think so. Favorability was 6.6 .6 out of 10 on average. This is the key metric in the paper. This is the left-hand variable, the dependent variable. So it makes sense that this would be one of the key findings. In addition to that key metric, Claude also summarizes the salient high-level trend, which is it follows an S-curve, slight decline in favorability, potential for long-term reversal, and some policy and marketing implications. I think this is a perfectly fine high-level summary. And then if I had lower level, more specific questions, those would be perfectly appropriate for me as the chat user to key in on. And once keyed in on, we see that Claude does a great job of answering those as well. All in all, I think Claude takes the cake on this one. It may not be better for programming, but I think it does a fantastic job, particularly at the price point for academic paper summarization. If you found this video useful, if you have an interest in programming, or if you have an interest in academic work, particularly in the field of economics, like the video, subscribe, and share with a friend. Thanks for being here.